Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a get ready with me video featuring lots of new products that I have either hauled recently or I haven't shown you. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. I don't have anything on my face except for some lip gloss and that is the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector and this one is in 01 and so it looks like this. And it just gives a really nice sheen and I'm just doing that mostly you could wear this outside by itself but I'm just doing it so my lips are prepared uh, for uh, when I put my lip product on okay so uh, the first thing I'm gonna use is the caffeinated aftershave by Pacific shaving company and I know you guys are like what but this is I I thought I would try this because you know how the Nivea uh, aftershave balm or full shave balm means the same thing uh, have uh, glycerin in it and it makes it a really nice primer I thought this would maybe work the same my boyfriend um, he uh, let me borrow this because he wasn't using it I was like well I try it for that so I'm gonna put a pea size amount on there and put that all over oh it has like a minty smell Okay, so we'll let that settle a little bit. And it says caffeinated. Helps keep your skin looking smooth and supple. I definitely like the way the Nivea one smells better, but this has like a kind of, not tingling, it's not tingling, but it does, I could feel it on my skin. Okay, next would be foundation. And... I was gonna use this, which is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Foundation, and I got it in the shade 245 Warm Beige. Usually, usually I'm 230, but I think I want to, um, I should really be using this now, but I'm really trying to use up this mix of foundation that I made, which is the um, Etude, House, uh, Etude House BB Cream, and some of the CoverGirl At Last Stay Luminous. So I'm gonna use this, even though it's much too lighter, but I do have a powder here that is darker, so I'm thinking that using the two plus a bronzer will negate the paleness of this foundation. Okay, so I have my BB cream, BB cream? I have my Beauty Blender, which I've seen it's better days I'm gonna toss it probably this month or by the end of the summer it still works pretty good but um, I made my beauty blender last for so long um, more than a year I know and I feel like if you wash it and keep it and wash it after your each use and just are gentle with it that it will last you for a long time much more longer than the what they say the expiration is so I'm going to use my finger and just put this all around my face oh and you, you know a new product that I have been uh, I just got is this wet brush and I really like it it, it goes through my hair but it doesn't pull it which is really nice and I feel like that's what I need because my hair has a lot of breakage so I did I ordered it from Amazon and I returned it because I felt like oh no I it was the tangle teaser um and I returned that but I tried this uh from Target so I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and I know it looks so light I really got a, a crazy tan when I went down to Florida for my friend's writing, which I am going back at the end of August because she needs a cat sitter and I'm, you know, I'm off in the summer, but um, I was like, oh, if I can do it, I will come. So I'm excited for that. I'm allergic to cats, by the way. I think I've mentioned this once or twice. Um, but I'm going to be taking lots of allergy medicine with me. And I will... We're, I'm, we're probably going to say... She has two bedrooms. We're probably going to stay in the second bedroom. 
and we'll just keep the cat out of there because I'm okay with petting them and as long as I wash my hands afterwards afterwards and don't touch my face or anything like that but if I'm in the same room and the air is just gets like my breathing gets kind of heavy so yeah but it's gonna be fun I really like Fort Lauderdale Fort Lauderdale um, I like the beach and the restaurant so I'm really excited to go back and then next I'm going to be using two concealers uh, this video also is going to feature products that I am trying to use up this is the Revlon age defying concealer which just goes on and on and on so I'm just gonna go over the places that I have blemishes and around my nose Again, using the Beauty Blender. And I feel like that concealer is really nice. I don't know how they make it because it's so old. And then I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. And I actually took the ball off because I never knew how much product was coming out. And so it's I just twist it up. And then product will come out slowly, so you don't have to keep on pushing it up. But you see how it is coming out, even though I'm not pushing it up anymore. So I just twist it a little bit more, and I'm going to put it on the Beauty Blender. The triangle end. And then what I'm going to do is just put it under my eye, and then anywhere else you need to highlight. And I've even started to highlight... Oh, sorry. Out of focus. I've even started to highlight underneath uh like this area right here underneath my cheekbone is that what that's called so let me close this up and then what do I just put some more okay so I'm gonna blend this out and I am not one that loves to use an under eye brightener but I have that product and I actually really like it so um I probably wouldn't get it again just because it's not a look that I do every day. This is just an extra step for me. But I do like it and I'm having fun using it up. Okay. And then, oh, you know what I should have done at the very beginning was put on an eye primer. My eyelids are super oily. I'm using the NYX HD, still trying to use that up. Um, and so I have to give it time to settle into my eye area. And I'll show you if I remember to um, how my oily lids will keep the product in some of its folds. I know that sounds so weird, but I'll show you what I mean. And so for the powder, um, under my under my eye, I'm gonna use I'm gonna bake just because it's fun. This is the Elf uh, high definition powder in I think it's corrective yellow. Yes, corrective yellow. And I use the powder puff that's in here, which looks kind of gross, but <laughs> um, I feel like it holds a lot of product. And so I am going to just press that under my eye area. get some more and then uh, I just put the powder puff back on there so that the product doesn't get everywhere and then so this is a new product uh, it's a L'Oreal true match in W6 that I am going to use which is quite a few shades darker than what I normally get I normally get well not I guess not several but it's a few shades darker I normally get W4 or W3 so that's what it looks like this is W6 again and I'm gonna use now if I wanted a fuller coverage like really full I would use the puff that came with this but I'm gonna use my echo tools brush and just go everywhere else okay that is definitely very um it negates the lightness of that foundation that I put. 
I was afraid that it was gonna be too light because you just don't know. This might actually be a little too dark, but that's okay. I think it will match down to my neck. Oh, and see what I was talking about? The primer will get in some area, so I just continually wipe that down. And then, so I use this powder. We'll let this set for a little bit more. You know, I think that powder actually works really well. So I'm happy with this. And then bronzer. So I have been using, this is so funny. Okay, this is, again, the L'Oreal True Match Powder, but, uh, True Match Powder, but this one is in C8 Cocoa. And which is, yeah, C8. Okay, so I'm going to use that as a bronzer because I like this powder so much. I feel like it gives me a natural uh, contour instead of something really harsh. So I'm going to use, this is the Up and Up brush, which I use for blush and for bronzer. And I usually bake until I do the blush step, which I'm going to do next. So I'll take the this brush again and just wipe that stuff away. And I will go over my eyelids because I feel like uh, my eyelids need that extra powder. Okay. Oh, I think I got a hair in my eye. I don't know what that was. And so I am going to be using the Tarte blush and party that I got for my birthday gift from Sephora and it's just this pretty I feel like tea rose type of shade It just gives you a really nice pink color and then for highlight I'm gonna be using this is the beautiful I forgot what this brush type was called it's from elf it's their newer brushes the beautifully precise or beauty precision something so I really like this you could use this for you know pretty much anything in the pinch like bronzer or blush but I like to use it for highlight I'm using the Mac Marilai skin finish in by candlelight Maybe, you know what my big the issue is I'm trying to show you everything but I don't think I have to go that far so it's a really pretty color and then I am going to normally I don't do this but I feel like there's um I went a little bit to over with the highlighter right there and then there's still some powder from the baking so just that everything looks blended together and then I'm going to take the bronzer that I just used and I'm gonna which brush this is another elf this is the crease brush and I'm just gonna go into my crease with that just to give it some definition this makes an awesome crease color as well. So, and it kind of ties the look in with the bronzer. So, uh, with the bronzing that I did with it. I am going to go to the doctor tomorrow. Um, an allergist because my stomach has been acting funny. I know I have spring allergies, but I would just like to know what foods I'm allergic to maybe and um, I mean to be honest with you if I'm told I'm allergic to shrimp I'm not going to stop eating shrimp so 
uh, it's just good to know. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm allergic to selfish, sh shellfish. Uh, but if I am, I would be really, really sad. Okay, next is mascara and I am trying to finish it so poorly is actually eyebrows I'm using the elf eyebrow kit and this one is in medium and I've made quite a nice dent in there and I used a brush that comes with it I feel like it's a pretty decent brush and I try to Um, I try to do the Korean brows and uh, I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm trying to let the brows go, but grow back the way they used to. And I'll just, you know, keep the shape that I have, but just don't let it get too wild. And then I go back in with the spoolie. And then I use the other side of that tiny little brush to go into the powder and just set the wax. So if I hear anything from the allergist tomorrow, I will let you know. Um, they do some type of needle stick test thing. So, uh, you have to, I have to, it's a separate for environmental and, uh, environmental allergies and food allergies. So I, I think I have to do one at a time. Uh, next is mascara and I'm trying to use up the Super Sizer uh, mascara by CoverGirl. I really do like this. I did not like it initially at the beginning, but after using it for a, after it dries out and everything like that, because my lids just want to go, my <laughs> lids, my eyelashes want to go straight down if I don't do anything to them. And um, I thought this was one of those mascaras that gave me length but didn't hold my curl, but it definitely holds my curl. Sony Cash Eyelash Curler, still my favorite of all time. And then the other side. Now, if I wanted to get really fancy, I would do liner, but I'm not going to do liner today. Oh, what I do is if you really want a liner but you don't have time to be so precise, I actually take a powder, like a dark brown or a black powder, and I'll just go really close to the lash line, and that looks really nice, and it's a softer look as well. Okay, for lips, I'm not sure. So there's three choices here. Um, so I have the, you know what, maybe I should do all three so I will not all three at the same time but I will do one and then um, I'll do from lightest to darkest because it'll be easier to take off so let me just plot my lips and I'm gonna use first the Tartus the Tartus lip paint and I think this is birthday suit yeah Ooh, this is really pale Ooh, it smells good. Okay. Oh, you know what this color reminds me of? I just got this color, so let me just see comparison-wise. The NYX Matte uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. This looks really similar to that. Now, most pale nudes I don't like but I feel like this one is really wearable okay they're not exactly the same no they're not the same but and the lips I feel like they look the same so this is the birthday suit and this is NYX Abu Dhabi 
Okay, so I am going to take that off. Which I probably don't have to because the next color is um, will probably cover it. Uh, this is Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink and in Lover. And I haven't tried this yet, but the color looked really pretty. I'm really happy with the other two that I've gotten. So let's see what this looks like. This smells like something uh, like a cupcake, like a birthday cupcake. The only thing I found with these lipsticks are, I feel like you have to definitely always second layer. Ooh, but I really like this color. And then the last one is pretty dark. This is the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Vancouver. And I didn't take, I was bad, I didn't take off the wrapper but that came off easily I'm very surprised so I'll take this one off which but I love this color and this one is pretty dark Ooh, it pretty looks purple which you guys know I love purple This is another one where you definitely have to go in again. So, I have to say, out of this is definitely I would for a night out or this color for a night out or during the fall and winter. I think this would be great, but. I really do like the color. Strangely enough, it's more purple, uh, like a dark, dark purple. And I think I like more of like the brown, red, burgundy dark colors. But this one is not too bad. My favorite out of the three that I showed you is probably the Maybelline Superstay. So uh, the last step would be to use a finishing spray. And this is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, which I don't love, but I'm also almost done with it. So I'm going to use that. And I like to spray a lot. So, And let me just brush my hair. I have been hating my hair, guys, recently. Just the length of it is weird. The, the layering is weird. It looked cute at first. But now I'm just, like, tired of it. And I just wish it would grow out. And I'm getting, I've always had gray hairs the last few years, but I've been covering it. But lately I've been toying with the idea of just letting it grow out and not having to dye it all the time. This purple is really growing on me. kind of like it. So, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have been having a very uneventful but good summer, which I like. Um, so I hope you guys have been having a great summer as well. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!